thank you so much guys and please feel free to pop into my office hours if you have any questions at all I'd love to help you out are you going to office hours yeah of course office hours is like the best way to get to know a teacher and if you have any questions you can just ask them it's like tutoring from the person who's teaching the course for free it's awesome you know what that does sound great I'll come with you yeah for sure okay let's go I'm so glad you guys could make it. You're from my Engineering Stories 101 class, right? Hi! Hello. Welcome to my office hours. Do you have any questions? Yeah, I was wondering, is it hard to apply to mechanical engineering from high school? Your high school grades actually don't determine if you get into mechanical engineering. What they do determine is if you get into first year engineering, and then from first year engineering, your grades that you get in first year engineering then determine what second year program you can get into, such as mechanical engineering. Oh, okay. Um, so for high school, the average to be considered as an applicant is 85%, but the competitive average is higher than that. And if you have more questions about grades or like applying, I really recommend watching my other video, The Incomplete Guide to a Perfect Application at UBC. Yeah, I have a question too. Um, I have a lot of AP credit and I was wondering if I would get to use that as an engineering student. Yes, actually, if you get a score of 4 or higher on your AP exam, you can use AP credit, um, but there is a list of the classes that you can use AP credit for on u.ubc.ca. However, since UBC Engineering um, focuses on math and physics and chemistry, we usually recommend that you don't take your AP credits for those and just take the courses again anyways. Um, so it would be a good idea to talk to a UBC advisor if you were planning on dropping one of those. So how's your experience at UBC going? I like it. Engineering is a really difficult program, but I'm really interested in the topics that we're learning and I find it really fascinating. Also, it's so nice to like work and live in such a wonderful, beautiful place. There's so much to do at UBC. There's so many clubs to join, so many fun restaurants. There's lots of gardens and museums that you get free access to. So it's a really nice place to study and work. Why did you choose UBC? Yeah, so my mom went to UBC, so as an alumni she got invited to a lot of different events and she often brought me with her and I just fell in love with the school. It was such a beautiful place and they were so progressive and it just seemed like a really good place to learn. Something that's specific um, to UBC is that they have a general first year program and a lot of people like this if they don't know exactly what program they want to go into into second year. It's nice to just do a general program and see what all the different disciplines do before choosing because it's a big decision. It kind of dictates what your job is going to be like in the future. Also a fun little fact is that UBC is ranked second place in Canada for universities and also second place in Canada for engineering schools. So it's actually a good place to learn. So what are the possible second year options? Oh boy, um, there's a lot of them. Okay, we've got biomedical, chemical, chemical and biological, civil, computer, electrical, physics, environmental, geological, integrated, materials, manufacturing, mechanical, and mining. You can read more about these different programs um, more in depth on engineering.ubc.ca. I would also recommend watching my wonderful colleague Sharon's video um, on second year placements. Yeah, I've got just one last question. How hard is engineering? Do you have any advice for incoming students? Engineering is a very difficult program and your grades will drop from what you're getting in high school. Uh, it's really important to manage your time wisely and just be prepared and organized. I have a video on how to manage time, um, which you can watch as well for more information about that. Um, but don't be worried, if you got into the program, you'll be able to handle it. You just really need to manage your time and buckle down and work. Do you have any more questions? No, that was great, thank you. Okay, well thank you so much for coming in guys. Remember, if you have any more questions, um, just pop back into office hours, maybe leave a comment in the comment section down below, leave a DM on Instagram or a comment on Instagram. We would love to help you out. That's what we're here for. See you later.